Hello students, welcome back for unit 5, lesson 4 for another subject is third conditional. In the previous lessons we talked about first conditional, second conditional and in this one we talk about the third conditional. So let's see what is the third conditional. Uh, it, the third conditional, it talks about the past. It's used to describe a situation that didn't happen and to imagine the result of, the, of this situation. So, so it's used for about for talking about past or describing a situation that didn't happen in the past or to imagine the result of this situation. We have the forms of the third conditional if at the beginning plus subject plus had or hadn't according to the subject plus PP or you can say the past participate and comma after comma subject and again with could or might if it is positive. If it is uh, negative, we use not. And after that, we have to use have. And again, pass participate, or you can say pp. Another rule that we have, if we want to use if in the middle, so we will replace the second sentence to the first sentence. So it became subject plus with, could, might, and have, plus past participate, or you can say pp, plus if, plus subject, plus had or hadn't, plus past participle, or complement. This is the two rules of rule for, for third conditional sentence. Now we have rules for using third conditional in in question form. What would have happened plus if plus past perfect or question mark. Okay, this is the rule of past uh, third conditional for question. And also we have another rule for uh, question in the third conditional, which is what would plus subject plus half, plus, uh, plus pp, uh, plus f, plus past perfect. These are the rules of third conditional sentence. The first and the second one is for using in positive way, and if a third and fourth one for using third conditional in question form. Let's see in examples. I would go home if I was tired. I would go home if I was tired and ask to use third conditional. So the sentence became like that. If I had gone home, I wouldn't have been tired. If I had gone home, I wouldn't have been tired. As you see, we have if at the beginning, as that we have subject, plus we have had, because with had, with I we use had, and we have gone, which is PP, and home, which is complement. After home, it is comma and and after comma this is i wouldn't have been tired we have subject we have the word of wouldn't and we have half and after half we have pp and tired is complement this is the the third question the third conditional sentence another example if we had taken a taxi we wouldn't have missed the plane if we had taken a taxi we wouldn't have missed the plane. So this sentence is talked about past, that, that something didn't happen, and or the result of, or imagine of the result of that thing in the past. So say, if we had taken taxi in the past, we wouldn't have missed the plane. Again, this is the, the first rule of the conditional. Now, in this sentence, we use if in the middle. So it became, she would have become a teacher if she had gone to university. She would have become a teacher if she had gone to university. In this sentence, we use the second rule of third conditional, which is if in the middle. He would have been on time for the interview if he had left the house. He would have been on time for the interview if he had, if he had left the house house when we use if in the middle so we have to remove comma we, do, we don't we don't need the comma in uh, using if in the middle so he would have been on time for the interview if he had left the house another example what would have happened if we hadn't studied what would have happened if we hadn't studied this is about Asking question in third conditional. So we have WH question, would have happened, have happened, which is the past present perfect, if we hadn't studied, which is the past perfect. So and question mark at the end. What would have happened if we hadn't studied? This is the question uh, form of third conditional. Now we have the summary of the third conditional. We, we use the third conditional to talk about something in the past that did not happen. 
we have subject this is the rule of third question the first the third the first rule when we use if in the in the at the beginning and we have the the rule for asking question in third conditional what would what would have happened plus if plus past perfect and question mark uh, let's see uh, an example if i if i would known i would have worn something worn something nice here if i would known i would have worn something nice here this is this this sentence is a third conditional and it took about something that didn't happen in the past okay so it says if i would known i would have worn something nice here also we can say i would have worn something nice here if i would know so we can replace the second sentence to the first sentence and we can remove if from at the beginning to the middle one and also remember you have to remove comma when you use if in the middle of the sentence this is all about the third conditional sentence i hope you understand very well thank you very much